May the peace of the Lord be with you all, as we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Let us now listen to the Word of God. January 13, 2024, Saturday of the First Week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the first book of Samuel. There was a stalwart man from Benjamin named Kish, who was the son of Abel, son of Zerer, son of Bekorath, son of Aphiah, a Benjaminite. He had a son named Saul, who was a handsome young man. There was no other child of Israel more handsome than Saul. He stood head and shoulders above the people. Now the asses of Saul's father, Kish, had wandered off. Kish said to his son Saul, Take one of the servants with you and go out and hunt for the asses. Accordingly they went through the hill country of Ephraim and through the land of Shalisha. Not finding them there, they continued through the land of Shalim without success. They also went through the land of Benjamin, but they failed to find the animals. When Samuel caught sight of Saul, the Lord assured him, This is the man of whom I told you, he is to govern my people. Saul met Samuel in the gateway and said, Please tell me where the seer lives. Samuel answered Saul, I am the seer. Go up ahead of me to the high place and eat with me today. In the morning, before dismissing you, I will tell you whatever you wish. Then, from a flask he had with him, Samuel poured oil on Saul's head. He also kissed him, saying, The Lord anoints you commander over his heritage. You are to govern the Lord's people Israel, and to save them from the grasp of their enemies roundabout. This will be the sign for you that the Lord has anointed you commander over his heritage. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm. The response is, Lord, in your strength the king is glad. O Lord, in your strength the king is glad. In your victory how greatly he rejoices. You have granted him his heart's desire. You refused not the wish of his lips. Lord, in your strength the king is glad. For you welcomed him with goodly blessings. You placed on his head a crown of pure gold. He asked life of you, you gave him length of days forever and ever. Lord, in your strength the king is glad. Great is his glory in your victory, majesty and splendor you conferred upon him. For you made him a blessing forever, you gladdened him with the joy of your face. Lord, in your strength the king is glad. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus went out along the sea. All the crowd came to him and he taught them. As he passed by, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the customs post. Jesus said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed Jesus. While he was at table in his house, Many tax collectors and sinners sat with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many who followed him. Some scribes who were Pharisees saw that Jesus was eating with sinners and tax collectors and said to his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus heard this and said to them, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. I did not come to call the righteous but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection How can we recognize and respond to moments when we feel a clear call or guidance in our lives? As he passed by, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the customs post. Jesus said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed Jesus. 
Mark 2 verse 14 How do you know the will of God for your life? In his spiritual classic, The Spiritual Exercises, St. Ignatius of Loyola presented three ways in which we come to know the will of God. The first way is the clearest and most definitive way. It is a time in which the person experiences at clarity beyond doubting as a result of a special grace of God. In describing this experience, St. Ignatius mentions the passage quoted above as an illustration of this experience. There is little said about this call of Levi in the Gospel of Mark, which is also recorded in Matthew's Gospel, Matthew 9 verse 9. Levi, who is also known as Matthew, was going about his occupation of collecting taxes at his customs post. It appears that Jesus spoke only these two simple words to Levi, follow me. As a result of these two words, Levi abandons his former life and becomes a follower of Jesus. Why would Levi do such a thing? What was it that convinced him to follow Jesus? Clearly, there was much more than just a two-word invitation from Jesus that convinced him to respond. That, which convinced Levi was a special grace of God, which produced within his soul a clarity beyond doubting. Somehow, Levi just knew that God was calling him to abandon his former life and embrace this new life. There was no long discussion, no weighing of the pros and cons, no prolonged thinking about it. Levi just knew, and he responded. Though this form of clarity in life is rare, it's important to be aware of the fact that sometimes God does act this way. This is a great gift when it happens. And though this depth of instant clarity is not always the way God speaks to us, it's important to acknowledge that God does speak to us this way at times. Reflect today upon this call of Levi. Ponder this inner certitude he was given in that moment. Try to imagine what he experienced and what others may have thought of his choice to follow Jesus. Be open to this same grace and if you ever feel as if God speaks to you with such clarity, be ready and willing to respond without hesitation. Let us pray. My dear Lord, thank you for calling us all to follow you without hesitation. Thank you for the joy of being your disciple. Give me the grace to always know your will for my life and help me to respond to you with total abandonment and trust. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to the readings and reflection of today's Mass. Please like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Again, thank you, and may God bless us all.